Okay, so this is Ringwalk Media, an association with Wellice Therapy, Still Hub Management, and Barclay Carter Racing. We have the victorious Jasmina Zabakozna. Hello, everyone. Yeah, it's Jasmina Zapotochna. But... I got. I was close. I'm getting closer. Yeah, yeah, but it's victory today. Well, listen, a very, very good fight. Um, hard fight against Gemma Rueg. You don't have an easy fight against Gemma. And uh, I thought you were pretty dominant in most of the fight. Yeah, I think this time it was rematch. Uh, this time was I felt much more confident. Um, I felt like that was little proof for me that I improved a lot. Um, a lot of, you know, um, improvements with my um, footwork and other stuff. I, I was going to say that. Your footwork from maybe three fights ago to now, miles better. Yeah, that makes me happy. Thank you. If you notice that, that makes me happy. So it's it's, it's just to prove that I that I did a lot of work and uh, and I improved. Listen, she had a, a quite a good round of the fourth round. What did Mark say to you after that fourth round? Because I think you went back to basics and you looked very good in the fifth. Well, I'm I've just said that I'm always I always have like um one round a little bit, you know. Quiet. Yeah, just maybe to take a little rev or something. I don't know. It's just from it's. Yeah, for the last few fights, I've noticed that I've got one, one little bit like I'm a little bit backward, you know. Like, it's taking some time to yeah, assess. Kind of, kind of. And I felt I know that round was for her, more for her. So, but other than that, yeah, I'm happy. I did a good job today, tonight. Uh, you did do a good job, and it was it was nice to see you sort of picking those shot combinations as well. And I think the footwork helped that. You were much quicker on your feet all the way through the fight. So I noticed you a couple of times. You did a little slip with the right hand side and went into the body a few times, and it looked really good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I uh, yeah we we working on it um, for the last few weeks. Um, and yeah, like I said, I was trying all my um, like stuff which I work on for the last few months, weeks. So yeah, and it it works. It works. So it's good. I'll tell you what, you're not picking easy fights. I mean, the last fight, um, I mean, Shannon Ryan, she is not easy. And that was a bit of a war, that fight. Um, I think it was a lot closer than the scorecards had. And I enjoyed that fight. But you've also now got Macy Rose Courtney in a month's time. I mean, you're not picking easy fights, are you? No, from the beginning, I, like, well, when I'm thinking about all my fights, first fight was with uh, Claudia Ferenci and... That that's it on my you know some journey woman or something like that. I'm just every fight. But like I said in one on one of my interview, I never I never wanted any easy fight. I'm I'm not in boxing to winning like you know easy and it's it's boxing. So I just I want I want tough fights. I want to prove myself and I want to and I want to show my skills and everything. So I think I'm 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 doing pretty good. You're doing not bad. Well, listen, you could be the party pooper because if you beat. Uh, Macy Rose next month surely that puts you in line to fight your very good friend uh, Chloe Watson you know what yeah if if it's gonna happen with Chloe I will enjoy every minute of it because I love spark with Chloe and I think it's gonna be a very good fight between me and her uh, and yeah even no matter how it's how it will end I will enjoy every minute of it because I I like Chloe. I like, you know, we, we've done hundreds of rounds of sparring and that would be a really good fight good to watch and very enjoyable. Well, listen, it's going to be a big show that you're going on again. And, uh, you know, the Copper Box, it's a great atmosphere. Johnny Fish has sold about 4,000 tickets just on his own. So, I mean, the atmosphere is going to be amazing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, you know. I was focusing on this fight tonight, yeah. As soon as I found out about May Zero's fight, uh, I was I was very excited, but obviously my thoughts were here today with Gemma <laughs> and I did what I had to do. Uh yeah, and now I'm looking forward to to May Zero's fight and um yeah, on Monday I'm coming back to the gym and Let's do it. Time time to get serious, isn't it? Well, listen, very well supported out there, as always. Um, a lot of your stable mates there, a lot of fans there, um, and lots of sponsors, obviously, at this point in your career. So important. A little message for those people that came out and supported you. Yeah, so I'd like to thank to my whole sponsors, Solar Express, Morley Glass, Estabulo, um, Body Balance Supplement Shop, Octagon Shop, um, uh, MJ, um, Hair Braids and Extension, Beauty by Eldona, and let me let me see. I'll tell you what you thought. Forget about someone. Oh, and my lovely B World Physiotherapy. I love. I'll tell you what you did better than Callum Simpson did. He's terrible at remembering oh, them. I, I was trying to. I was trying to remember all of them, but 
at least I've got all all of them on my T-shirt, so I could I could just. Well, listen, we know what fight you've got. It's a month to go. A little message to Maisie Rose Courtney from you. Yeah, just be prepared for the tough fight, and yeah, it's going to be a very tough fight, and I'm not. I'll I'm going to leave my heart there and all what I can. <laughs> Well, listen, well done tonight. Very tough fight. Really good fight. And uh, I cannot wait for next month. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the support for all my friends and family. Everyone, Thanks to everyone who came in today. Um, yeah, I'm just a little bit all over the shop at the moment after fight. But thank you. Thank you very much. And yeah, I, I appreciate, appreciate it all.